Attack. Huh? Yeah. Tell us something. No. Well, uh, my name is uh, My name is Brother Indy. And uh, I, I decided to come this morning to see for myself or witness for myself everything. Everything that Pastor Ping Pong has been boasting of for this period. Um, walking miles and miles. As of right now, we just got to Julian, North Carolina. And uh, I just checked my um, iPhone watch and it's actually recorded 7.21 miles. Why that is very true is because of, uh, before I, I left the house, I charged my, uh, my watch and I didn't wait till I started the journey. Mm -hmm just so that I can get an exact or like a very better appro a better approximation mm -hmm. and lo and behold Pastor Ping Pong because he has been doing this for so long by the time we got to the junction I'm not sure if you can show them this junction where we just around this junction here Pastor Ping Pong estimated that we have covered 7.2 miles I'll be honest I was like I was like my, my pastor is exaggerating. <laughs> He's exaggerating. That this, why can't you just say seven miles? <laughs> seven miles or eight miles. Why is it exactly 7.2? So when I checked my watch, lo and behold, it was 7.21 mm -hmm. according to my watch. So I was like, wow, this man has really been doing this consistently. And according to him, he actually goes beyond this point. But man, that's liberty. Go beyond this he point. goes towards liberty, which is an extra seven miles from uh, where we are right uh -huh. now. Yeah. But this is 7.2 miles, and we still have to make our way back to the but, house, uh -huh. which would be another 7.2 mm -hmm. miles or thereabout, depending on the routing. So I'm very grateful to God for this opportunity. I never thought in my wildest dreams I'll be able to walk 7.2 miles in one stretch. Right, right. So that means that by the time I get home, that'll be, call it, call it 15, 15, 15 miles, miles approx. Right. Mm -hmm. So I am very, very grateful to God. I'm, I'm just asking God to give me strength to to keep this up because <laughs> this takes special grace so I thank God for this experience no, no, no. and Let's right move. here identify, identify. Yeah, so this is proof can you go there yeah, see? this is proof that I walked from Greensboro to Julian North Carolina this is their post office uh -huh. so that this is not a field trick uh -huh. this is really the United States post office and you see to the right it is saying Julian North Carolina uh -huh. That is, a, this is a small town, and that's why this place is so small. So, and this is evident that we did cover this without any car. Look around, there's no car no to car. back up. <laughs> we have to use our legs <laughs> to go. To Your go. Lexus. We, we call it Lexus. <laughs> we call it Lexus. So we are using our Lexus uh -huh. back to the house. Uh -huh. <laughs> See, empty parking lot. Uh -huh. And yeah. I'm not sure if anybody will be willing to give us a ride because we look like we are hitchhikers. So. <laughs> I yeah. just thank God for this experience. Amen. Praise God. So all of you there in, in Facebook land and also in uh, on YouTube land, this is Pastor Pimpo right behind the camera today. And I'm here with Dr. Indy Freke, who has come all the way from Indiana with his wife to visit and decided that today, now you can't believe it, he just came from the, they just came from the Dominican Republic yesterday. Uh, from vacation. If you come from vacation, normally you really want to take a trek and walk like this. But he told me, I want to walk with you tomorrow. And so here we are. The only train that comes around 10 o'clock, 9 and 10. You can hear it now. Okay? Yeah, it's good. And uh, so here, here we are in Julian, North Carolina. You see the post office. And then you see this is Highway 62 that goes to Bellington. And then you see the sign. We can take closer a closer. You see NC 62 over there, and then you have Liberty Road. So here we are, by the grace of God, myself and Dr. Indy Freke, uh, our mama, who is here visiting from Indiana. Uh, he is the Timothy and the Paphroditus combined. When he was in Greensboro uh, at All Nations, there was never a day that he was late. He laid his life down, did the work of God faithfully, and God elevated him so much. Now he's a pharmacist, a uh, PharmD, 
doctor in pharmacy, his wife is also a doctor in pharmacy. So God really blessed him for his faithfulness to him. And so if you are faithful and remain faithful to God and do God's work the way God wants you to do it, the Lord would elevate you. He will elevate you. Okay? And Dr. Eddie Frecker is, is an example of what God does to those who faithfully serve him. Okay? Listen, God bless you all. Grace and peace. Grace and peace. Amen. Bye-bye. <laughs>